So, just to, to, to stay in that lane, mm-hmm. you have dope boys that are worldwide famous. You got, you know, Freeway Ricky Ross. You got, you know, just, I mean, Nino, uh, not Nino, Nino uh, 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 Barnes. And, uh, and you got so many. Big Meech. You, yeah, Big Meech, right? Who, without, if, if we can answer this question without getting anybody in trouble, because we're going to do that here. Who was the biggest dope boy in Atlanta you remember back in the day? Because the term D boy and dope boy really came from okay. Atlanta. Like who was? Because it, it, I don't, I don't see like there's no big story about the big Atlanta dope boy. All right, so, all right, so I grew up. I went to Camelton Road. I grew up West Side, okay. Atlanta, deep off in it. And as a kid. The dope first dope dealer I ever saw, first dope boy I ever saw was a dude named Cal Pat. Okay. Calvin that- Battle. I'm from Harris Homes. He said Cal Pat? Cal Pat. Okay. Calvin Battle. All right. I'm from Harris Home. They call it the county. All right. My grandmama stayed over there. Yeah. I stayed down on Neal Street, all this right on Ashby, like we deep west side. This mm. is a kid. You know what I'm saying? This kindergarten. Mm. And so Kyle Pat was the biggest drug dealer. He he, was, he had the big gold chains, and mm. you know, he, and I knew he was the he was the big drug dealer. He had all he had he had Harris home locked down. He was from around now. Yeah. And I remember the Miami boys came to Atlanta. Mm, I remember hearing about that. And so the dope game was getting deep in Atlanta. That rock was selling people was going crazy about it so Cal Pet was the dude in in in, in west side uh, and so the, the Miami boys came in mm. and started setting up shop everywhere they was like they was on some take your trap you know what I'm saying and so they in Atlanta, man. Atlanta, dude, man. Atlanta so damn gullible all the time, man. They, we build an empire and let my our town come, got swipe that right from up under you. You know what I'm saying? That be that BS. But um, Cal Pat was going straight up war with them. Mm. He wasn't playing. They would got they were killing, but boy, it was killing. It was killing like now, like you know what I'm saying? It was a war. It was a drug war. You know what I'm saying? And so they killed Cal. I was out there that night, man. I saw his brains. I saw his brains. Like, I know his mama and his son. Shout out to Calvin Calvin Jr. He came to me because we did a movie, actually. Shout out to my bro, T. uh, Product of American Ghetto. I'm on the soundtrack. You on the soundtrack? It's a yeah, it's, that was yeah. a set question. So me and T, was the truck, <laughs> me and T from the truck. Yeah. T, T, T was like that. Yeah. T was like that. T, T was like that, but um, Cal Pat with that dude then, they killed him. Then mm. the Miami boys spread it in down. Everybody, and everybody, everybody acting like they from Miami, but they had, they they came, they killed, they took over every part of Atlanta, probably besides the bluff. They ain't take the bluff. Couldn't get the bluff. They ain't get the bluff. But they came, they got a lot of soldiers. It was just every 20 years, it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's the same thing with the. Oh, why is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that different type, how that movement yeah. and them OGs and all that, you know what I'm saying? But, um, like, Cal Pet with that dude, they killed him. Then it was another dude, uh, then uh, uh, Convertible Burt. Okay. Convertible Burt. I heard that name before. Yeah, Ted Wood was bumping. Mm. Ted Wood was bumping, boy. So right there where the Centennial Park at, yes, I mean, um, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, they turned it into uh, Georgia State. Is uh-huh. that Georgia State, the, them Twin Towers? Okay, yeah. They used to be the projects. I'm somebody probably buy this all up under all that. And, <laughs> wow. And, and the Greyhound Station was right there. Mm. So you, so everybody trapping. I'm yeah, somebody, you got, a, you got a million, million dollar trap. Ross used to be this big. They used to come buy them from out of town and break them down and take them back to the country and cut them in half and sell them for double. Yes, and so you got this trap where people got Cadillacs, it booming. I'm a kid out here with it, having, and you got these girls getting off this Greyhound from all over the world coming right here to this trap in Atlanta, and that's the first thing they saw. See, a lot of them never made it out of Ted Wood. 
what do they end up junkies? What do they end up bosses? They end up the candy later, the baby mama. Mm. They never. It was all. It's all the stuff. It's always. It's always been ATL players. Yeah. We always been some players down here. Respect. Play a little bit too much. 